What's up, guys? Um, I'm here to um, talk about the Raising Bot. It's come up in a lot of competitions, and it's quite interesting how it actually just it just kind of popped out out of nowhere. But a lot of teams started copying the design of the Raising Bots, and I'm here to tell you if these bots are even good. Should you be investing in building in a Raising Bot? Um, short and sweet, no. I I really do not like these bots at all, but Taking a look at this first match here, um, well first, raising bots are pretty good at scoring, and I think that's a, why a lot of people want to build these raising bots, is because they can score pretty fast. Um, besides that, that's um, literally their only positive. You could, you could also say that they hold a lot of blocks and they can score fast, but at the same time, sometimes you can't even score a lot of blocks because you lose the blocks in your raising capacity because it the weight distribution is so bad on these raising bots. Like if you go full speed and run or something or make a bad mistake, run into something, your blocks are gonna fall out. It's sad, but here's here's a good example of a raising bot a highlighter actually. Uh, one their match loader doesn't work, but um, when they do have blocks, it the the weight is so bad, like the weight distribution of these raising bots are so bad. That if we look at this video again, it tries to score, but it descores some of its own blocks from its raising section. And like all of these raising bots have this problem. And as you can see, they do they do score pretty fast. But if you look at the rest of the match, this raising bot cannot do a single thing. Like it's just not going to do anything the entire thing. And that's what a lot of these raising bots do is that they just can't do anything. Um, just, they're, they're right so bad, and even when a w raising bot is in defense of, like, a long war or something, um, it, they're not really being that defensive because they're pretty easily to shove out of the way, and it's pretty hard to grab aligners for these bots, too, because of how the raising bots are actually built. Um, but here, I have another example um, of... A raising bot that's been brought up a lot in, in this competition and it's this raising bot right here now um, this team looked at the some of these negatives of the raising bot and they put some um, a hooded like mesh on the raising bot so that the blocks don't fall out when it's like ramming into something when it's like moving um, and yes it does fix that problem the, the only thing is every other problem is not fixed that's the only problem it fixes which it, it's a good raising bot this is probably as best as a raising bot as you're probably going to get and it's still not really good um here i'll go back to the start of the match because like first of all this this raising bot isn't doing anything the entire match it really just can't it can't like take someone's spot because it's so vulnerable because its weight distribution is so bad that a bot can push this guy easily, and the raising bot can't really push someone defending either. So it's kind of hard to see what it can do, especially if someone's defending a long goal, so they're really confused. Um, and well, if a raising bot's in this position, you should probably go for middle goals, because, like, what else are you going to do? Um, and it's just not going to do anything this entire match. I mean... We, it, it's trying to set up for a lot middle goals right here, but it's just going to get pushed. And the weight's so bad that it, it even gets kind of stuck on these middle goals, too. It's just not going to do anything the entire match. And then here's another great example of the horrible weight dis distribution of these raising bots. This raising bot's going to go and park here. It's going to go down. And then, look, its hood is going to raise, and it tips over just because of how bad the weight distribution of these raising bots are. And I've seen this happen a few times during competitions too. A raising bot is raised up, it runs across the match, and it either falls on its own, or a robot comes running at it and it knocks it over. So, I mean, if you're against a raising bot, and their, their hood is up, they're fully raised, and they're running around the map, just like come over, nudge them, and they're literally going to fall over. It's a 1v2 and you win. So, and if a raising bot is on your team, well, you're cooked. <laughs> Here is another example of these raising bots in action. Um, like, it, this one's fast, but, like, 
One push while you're raised up and you're running across the field by another robot, your blocks are gone, and you are in bad position to get fully knocked over. Um, it doesn't take pretty well. It does hold a lot to score fast. Those are great positives, right? I mean, I could see why someone might want to build a racing bot. Like, those are great positives. But the negatives are, well, they're very bad. And it, it makes this bot really risky to play and really just not great. And, like, the the force on this is going to descore its own blocks, too. And while, like, look, the cup, it just goes back, raises up, and your block is gone. I mean, it, it's it's really it's hard it's risky like these bots just really aren't good at scoring because look they're gonna de-score these blocks <laughs> um yeah i really really do not like these raising bots i really advise not to um, build any and if you are building a raising bot right now um i'd uh, honestly i'd redesign Bring it into your first competition or whatever, or if there's a competition coming up, bring it because there's not enough time to redesign. But after, you have to redesign. These raising bots aren't good. Um, yeah. <laughs> if there's any other type of specific bots that you want me to cover, like uh, two wide intakes, hero bots, um, I can do another type of video like this. So if you'd like to see that, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. And um, like the video if you liked it. Um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Um...